everyone, and welcome to a fun new podcast on the Retro Network. We are calling it TRN Game Night, and we are going to play some games for you and uh, the TRN uh, family, nation, I don't know what we're calling each other, but <laughs> we've got some people on the line, and we're going to play a fun game for you tonight called Situation Beatbox. So let me... Uh, Introduce everybody, and we'll get into the rules of the game and all that here shortly. But uh, on the line with me is Eric. How are you, Eric? I'm good. Thanks for being here, Eric. Uh, we'll, we'll do a little like uh, icebreaker question. What is the last uh, album that you remember buying? I mean, like actual like LP vinyl album, or whatever digital, whatever you're using nowadays. Oh, well, I use uh, Spotify now, so I don't buy anything much. <laughs> uh, I can tell you the last, uh, I can actually tell you the very first CD I ever bought. Okay. So I bought a CD player one night at Sears and had to run to Walmart before Walmart closed and like literally like ran down the aisles trying to find something that I would listen to, to like, just, just so I'd have a CD to play on my new C- CD player. And uh <laughs> I bought Winger, the the uh, the debut Winger album. Oh, nice! On CD, and uh, yeah, I don't know why. It's just it was the it was the lesser of like five evils. It was either that or <laughs> Luciano Pavarotti, or you know, oldies or whatever, or Winger. And so I picked Winger. Yeah, yeah. Walmart's not known for its uh, albums. Yeah, at the time, yeah, it, it yeah. wasn't like it wasn't burgeoning with with hair metal bands. So I had to pick what I could get. Winger. Oh my god, I hadn't thought about Winger in years. You have to oh, drop yeah. one of those songs tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have more than one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Hello. that is Kevin. Mr. Kevin Hellions. How are you there, Kevin? I'm doing well now. Well, what was uh, happening earlier? <laughs> my 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 tech savviness was happening earlier <laughs> to all of us. I yeah. Yeah, us old people trying to <laughs> Trying to pull around with technology. Well, glad to have you here, Kevin. What's uh, what's something you can tell us? Last album you purchased or Spotify list, playlist you grabbed? or Last album was Ghost Prequel that I got as a Christmas present. Because wow. if, there's, if there's anything better to get for Christmas than Satanic Rock, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Nothing's for the Christmas like Satanic Rock. Okay, I'll take your word for it on that one. <laughs> so, and then we have uh, Stacy on the line. How are you, Stacy? Doing great, thanks. Good to have you here. What's uh, what's something that you uh, have purchased lately or listened to lately? Um, so the last digital album I I downloaded was probably Billie Eilish's new album. Uh, the last actual physical vinyl that I bought was a stack of records at the local flea market, including a Def Leppard album. Yeah. Nice. Def Leppard. Love Which it. Def Leppard was it? Uh, the one with photograph on it. I can't oh, remember the name. Uh, Power of Mania. Yeah, yeah, Power Mania. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eric and I were trying to get in. <laughs> yeah. I beat you. Stacey, come on. <laughs> come on. the game already. <laughs> I buzzed well, in too late. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am Jason, too, by the way, if uh, you have not recognized my voice. But we are here. Uh, we're, we're taking a little fun little journey on uh, on trying to do some games and uh, entertain you guys, the listeners, uh, on some music trivia tonight. And just to give a quick shout out to the game that we're basing this on, um, I was in a local store called Dirt Cheap. I think there might, might be a chain here in the South, but they, they, it's just a crazy mess of clearance from Walmart, Target, all kinds of different things. And I found this game called Boombox by Buffalo Games. I, I know this is at Target. I've seen it there. So if you want to look it up and see uh, what we're basing our fun little game tonight on, it's called Boombox, and it's uh, 80s and 90s songs. It's in the similar format to the game called Apples to Apples, if you've played that. And since we are virtually playing this game tonight, we're going to do our own little twist on it to kind of make the game more, I don't know, 
easier to play virtually than than we were sitting across from each other and passing around cards. So this, uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to kind of position us just so one person will start the first round, the next person starts the second round, not the same person is starting each round. So we're going to do that. We call it situational jukebox because I'm going to throw out a situation like uh, the perfect song to play at the top of Mount Everest. And we will go around the room trying to find a song, uh, Van Halen's Top of the World. It's the top of the world. Stand, uh, stand on top. Standing of the world. on top. Okay, we might do. I might do a little karaoke tonight too. So, <laughs> anyway, so we're we're gonna throw it around the room trying to come up with a favorite song or perfect situational song. I'll say, and then we'll go around the room again to vote on who we think picked the best song, and that person will get a point, and then first person to four points will win the game. Um, but so we'll just kind of go round robin, as they say, and uh, we'll see uh, who wins. We, it's a couple of rules that we've thrown out there. We're saying a song must be at least 20 years old. So we we might have to use Google to verify that just because, I, I don't know, I, you get around the 2000s and more recent, I'm a little more sketchy than I am uh, a 90s or 80s song. But we'll... we'll uh, We'll figure that out as we go. We're not going to do a, a limit on what decade to use either. Um, I guess we'll, we'll kind of find out what our music preferences is. We, we kind of got a little insight into uh, Kevin there. So, uh, <laughs> we you know, trying to play to somebody that's not going to really work tonight on well, song choices and stuff. But we'll go back. We need to go back to the 60s, 70s, whatever comes off the top of our heads. We will. And then uh, once a song is chosen, we're going to say it cannot be used for the rest of the game. So that way we have to come up with something different each each time. So that being said, we will go, I guess, the way I introduced you. So we'll start with Eric. You're oh. position one. Kevin, you're two. Stacy's three. And I'm four. Okay. And how, uh, how long do we get to pick a song? I don't know. I guess... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll we'll do a mental clock on you. So if you start taking too long, we'll I'll start singing the Jeopardy theme or, you know. Nice. I, 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 I mean, I've been told I got sand in my head before, so I may as well put it to you. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can find a little cricket sound effect or something, you know. Awesome. <laughs> but just, you know, if we want to need to take a minute, and you know, I'm going to announce the situation or each okay. round, so... We can all be thinking. We won't. You won't necessarily be the first person each round to come up with it. So you'll have a little extra time as we as we go around. So, are you guys ready? Do you think you any questions or anything before we get started? I'm ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the tiebreaker. I guess I didn't really say about the tiebreaker. Um, I guess if we get two votes, since there's four of us, we get two and two. I don't know what we'll do then. That will be uh we need a we need a fifth person. Adam, where are you? Come on, we need you. No kidding. Um, <laughs> our our uh, TRN uh uh whatever you what what are we going to call ourselves? I don't know what we're going to network head, network person. Anyway, he was going to join us tonight. He was not able to. So, we'll figure it out I guess when we get to the tiebreaker if uh we just throw the question out or whatever. So, okay, well, let's get this thing started. And uh, our first situation, this one's going to Eric first, but everybody else be thinking of a song. A song I'd play during a natural disaster. Song I'd play during a natural disaster. Can it Eric, be any natural disaster? Any, It's just generic. So pick your typhoon, earthquake... Tornado, whatever you want to do for your natural right. disaster. Typhoon and okay. earthquake, right. really? Sharknado. Sharknado. <laughs> can, can, are all these Sharknado. questions based on WWF tag teams? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Typhoon Probably not. Okay. okay. You got one, Eric? I do. It's the end of the world as we know it by R.E.M. Oh, there's a good one. I might have to come up with a second one here. All right. Uh, Who's going to Good choice. <laughs> Leonard Burnside. Oh, hold on. That's the only like 
part of the song I can really get out and really <laughs> you know from all of that. <laughs> Kevin, what you got? Uh, our cutoff's 99, correct? Yes. Okay, then I will pick DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Boom, shake the room. Oh, oh nice. Wow, boom, boom, shake the room. I remember that song. Man. Stacy, you're going to steal my song? Uh, I'm going to go with Europe Final Countdown. Ooh. You didn't. Europe Final Countdown. We have to put these in like a Spotify playlist at the end of the day or something. <laughs> Each song that's chosen. I'm building it right now. <laughs> this is going to be it. Okay. Uh, I did not take mine. I'm picking the Scorpions. Rock you like a hurricane. Uh... All right. So we're coming back around. Eric, cannot choose your own song. What are you taking? Uh, probably, I'm going to have to say Boom Shake the Room. <laughs> okay. One vote. Kevin? I got to go final countdown because my wife who loves Arrested Development will be disappointed if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy? Oh, I, I got to go with, uh, with R.E.M., with End of the World. And we're going to make that the winner for this first round, I mean, since I can't choose my own. So, <laughs> Eric, you get a point. Hey! That was a good pick. Okay. We'll go on to the next round, moving right along. Kevin, you are up first. And your situation is a song that reminds me of home. Jeez. <laughs> That's a little vague. <laughs> song that reminds me of home. home. Wow. All right. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> you got it? I got it. Okay, what you got? All right. It's going to surprise you, considering, you know, what I've posted this week on the site and other things. <laughs> but I'm going to go with Bruce Hornsby, Every Little Kiss. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the reason is my childlike misunderstanding when he sings When the Day Goes Down on Watertown, mm -hmm. that's two words when he sings at lowercase. Whereas I grew up in Watertown, one word, ah. uppercase. Ah. Gotcha, gotcha, and gotcha. And growing up, I thought it was a song about where I lived. Nice. Neat. Okay. I like that answer. Stacy, you got one? I do. Uh, I'm going to go with Tennessee Homesick Blues by Dolly Parton. Wow. There you go. You just told us before we went on that you moved from Tennessee, so. Yeah. Perfect. Um, I'm just going to concede that I'm not going to win this round, so. Um, you never know. <laughs> if you've ever seen the movie Groundhog Day, I'm going with the Pennsylvania polka. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nice. I don't even know who sings it or if it's even a real song, but. I'm trying to find it on. <laughs> I'm trying to find it on Spotify right now. The Pennsylvania polka. That's where yes, I'm from. Yes, I found it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. I think this is it. Hang on, let me see. <laughs> That's it. Yep, now, thankfully, you clarified it's from Groundhog Day because I would hate for anyone to think it's modern day polka and you're trying to fast one here. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. What you got, Eric, for your song that reminds you of home? I'm going to have to go with Cherokee People. Wow. Cherokee People. Yeah, my mother is full blood Cherokee. Cool. I haven't heard that in forever. Okay. Well, well let's go ahead and vote. Kevin, what you got? Who are you going to vote for? Uh, I'm going Cherokee. Okay. Stacy? 
I'm going with every little kiss because I just I love that song so much. And I I'm gonna go with you again. I'm gonna go for that song. I like Kevin's story there, and I love that whole album by Bruce Hornsby. My favorite is the one the duet with uh, Huey Lewis. Uh, something down the road, down the road tonight, down the road tonight. Okay, Eric can't vote for yourself, so uh, I'm I, I guess you're for Bruce Hornsby as well. <laughs> Wow. I love Bruce Hornsby, so. <laughs> All right. Well, Kevin gets a point. And we'll move on to the next round. Stacy, this one's for you. A song I'd play while getting sent to detention. <laughs> oh, it, it, yeah, that's easy. It has to be smoking in the boys' room. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there is not a chance, because I'm, I'm last this round. There is not a chance that's going to still be available. <laughs> um, uh, well, I, it's, it's more of a, I guess, tie into a movie, but we'll go with uh, Simple Minds. Don't you forget about me. Oh, mm. dang it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You got one, Eric? No. God, I still get this. <laughs> hate you. Um, <sighs> man, that's a hard one. Yeah. Yeah, it's. <laughs> that's, that's a hard one. Um, I'm about to say Youth Gone Wild by Skid Row. Youth Ooh. Gone Wild by Skid Row. Nice. I think I'm just going to put your choices in a playlist, Eric. <laughs> awesome. I'll, I'll share this playlist with everybody when I when we get done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm making notes, so if you need whatever. Uh, all right, Kevin. Last one to you. All right. Man. Oh, getting sent to detention. It's the detention that puts it into school and put... I was debating between two songs, but... I am going to go with Suicidal Tendencies Institutionalized. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> mm. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Stacy, you're up for vote first. Um, let's see. I'm going to go with Simple Minds because that's iconic detention. Okay. I'm going to choose yours. Smoking in the boys' room. Let's say you, Eric. Smoking in the boys' room. Make it three. Okay. So Eric and Kevin and Stacy all have a point. Woo-hoo. We might just go to three. I don't know. We'll see. I said I think initially said four points wins the game. Just the length of this, but uh, all right, up to me. A song I play while competing in a dog show. <laughs> Hmm. Are, I'm gonna go with. Uh, can I can I'm, I have clarification? Yes. Are we the handler or the dog? <laughs> yes. You choose. You yes. Choose. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going with Bobby Brown. Something around. Oh my god! Oh, nice. oh. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. It just came to mind. Okay. Oh man! <laughs> Something around. <laughs> I haven't heard in years. So, I'm going to start. Yeah. Pl- I'm going to start. Of course, out. that comes to my head first. <laughs> oh yeah, that's going to be that's going to be the best song tomorrow at work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, you got one. Uh, Bark at the moon, Ozzy Osbourne. Ah, there you go. Oh. Kevin, you got one. Oh, man. I do, but I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe we will. Fortunately, I'm going to go with Bow Wow, Beware of Dog. Ooh. Bow Wow, Bow wow, wow, yippee-o, yippee <laughs> We're doing it doggy style. Okay. <laughs> I'm Stacey. <ashamed> myself. <laughs> <laughs> when did that song come out? Uh, let me. Oh no, it's two thousand. Oh okay. We'll, we'll count it. We'll count it. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it was recorded in nine. 
Maybe it was recorded in 99. We'll sneak right, through right. it there with an go. asterisk. Nah, we'll use it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Iggy Pop. I want to be your dog. Oh, wow. Nice. wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to give a vote to... I'm going to give it to Eric for Bark at the Moon. Okay, Eric, what's your vote? <laughs> I'm going to have to vote for helping around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. It's because I haven't heard that song in forever. <laughs> Kevin, uh, Jim, I, but that's I, right. I, I kind of like rediscovered Iggy Pop this year through another thing, so I, I, that's got my vote. Okay. All right, so we each have a point then as we circle back around. Let's see how we do in the second round here. Okay. Your situation, Eric, a song I'd play at 5 o'clock on a Friday. AM or PM. <laughs> Kevin, you're so literal. Just... Kevin, you're such a disease. Kevin, Sorry. You're completely Home Alone reference. We were talking. Yeah, you're completely helpless. Oh, I thought you're. I thought you're over here listening into my day job conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh no. Five o'clock on a Friday. What say you, Eric? Uh, nothing but a good time. Poison. Ooh, it's good to play anytime. If you ask me. All right, Kevin. Just need a confirmation on year to make sure I'm safe. And I am because this is an actual one that I play sometimes when I just need to get out of there. I'm going with Anthrax and Public Enemy. Bring the noise. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. I haven't listened to that in years. Man. Bring the noise. I think I had that single. <laughs> Cause single. Yes. I was a huge into the Kasingles. I still have a bunch when I was a. That's amazing, the Kasingle. Bring the noise. Yes, that was that was an that was like uh, I don't know the '90s version of Walk This Way. It, that you just took it away from me. Yep, exactly. It was. All right, Stacy. I'm gonna go back to my girl Dolly Parton with Nine to Five. Good choice. That's probably my favorite Dolly Parton song. Mine too. And the movie, by the way. I love that movie. Oh, gosh. My yeah. sister and I can quote that to each other all. I mean, just ad nauseum. I think I'm a little late with uh, Incubus. When was the first Incubus album? That was probably like 2003. Uh-uh, that was in the 90s. Was it? it? Had to be. Well, the one that, what? when was uh, Morning View? Let's see. Hang on. I can tell you. I'm going to have to punch it up. 2001. Uh, oh, yep. She's right. 2001. Oh, crap. I didn't know that. Song. that, was that. I thought it was older than that. Uh, so if I'm playing by the rules, um, I don't know. One that I always seem to turn on 5 o'clock on a Friday is uh, Def Leppard Armageddon It. And I, it has probably nothing to do with you know, work or anything, but I like to pump that one heading into the weekend. Okay. What's so funny Eric, is what he said, working for the weekend by Loverboy. Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. Or Five yeah. O'Clock World. Oh, yeah. Oh, five. Wow. Jeez. Can I change mine? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, dang. Was it Five O'Clock World uh, dance number on Drew Carey show? It was, yeah. I just got another one that came to mind. Eric, what are you voting good for? Morning Vietnam soundtrack. Uh, I'm, I'm going to vote for 9 to 5. Okay. Kevin? Uh, Eric's got my vote. Nothing but a good time. Stacy? Uh, I'm also going to vote for nothing but a good time. Um, sorry, I'm not a big 9 to 5 fan, so... <laughs> Right. I guess it really doesn't matter <laughs> which one I vote for. I was going to vote bring the noise. So we'll give that point to Eric. Still haven't had a tie yet. So I don't know how we're going to figure that out. Don't just gonna keep going this way. Yeah. Don't, don't drink it. All right, uh, Kevin, here's your situation. A song that makes me feel like a natural born woman. 
Okay. This ought to be interesting. Double checking your bear, I got my answer. <laughs> I am gonna go with Stone Temple Pilot sex type thing. Such a good wow. Song. There was a live performance, like because sex type thing and plush were two very different videos and very different songs. Yep. There's a live performance of MTV when Sex Type Thing first came out where Scott Weiland came out and performed in a dress with lipstick, makeup, yep, everything. I remember that. And he said, I think some of you are misinterpreting the point of this song. <laughs> and just crushed it. I love those two, those first two albums. All right, Stacy, what you got? Since you are the uh... probably only one here that's a natural born woman. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go with uh, Aretha Franklin and Eurythmics. Sisters are doing it for themselves. Wow. Not familiar with that one. Oh, oh it's, like, it's a good one. Aretha and Eurythmics. Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, how have I not known this You're going to wonder, I, that's what I was about to say, you're going to wonder how you missed it. Wow. Um so many different directions you can go with this. Let's do starting to suck at this game. <laughs> Who picked it? Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, right said Fred, I'm too sexy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that even old enough? It's yeah. Definitely old enough, yes. Yeah, I was singing 90, that in high school. 91? That's, yeah, that was early 90s. Oh, really? Was it real? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 92, yep. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it was either 8th grade or freshman year of high school. So 90, 92 felt about right. That's crazy. All right, what you got, Eric? Pretty Woman by Van Halen. Oh. Oh, that was easy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, man. Yeah. Okay. Kevin, what you got your vote? Um, I'm going Van Halen. Okay. That was a good call. Uh, Stacy? Uh, I gotta go with sex type thing. I am too. So, Eric, you can't vote for yourself. Uh, I am three. Oh. There we go. I'm, Kevin I'm takes a surprise. Thank you. All. Well, there, there's an there's an irony in the fact that we all picked a song not sung by a natural woman. <laughs> 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 there's a there's a sweet irony in that. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh. I always tell people that if they ask me why I don't listen to like uh, a lot of girl bands or girls singing, uh, I said I do. I I. Got plenty of albums by Alice in Chains and Jane's Addiction and you know <laughs> all the girls anyway, in poison. That was a that was a bad joke. Okay, uh, we're up to Stacy. Stacy, your scenario, your situation is a song I'd play while stuck in the hospital. Song I would play while you're stuck in the hospital. Oh, wow. Uh, Ramones, I want to be sedated. (laughs) Man. Oh, wow. Wow, that was good. Uh, I'm going uh, Bon Jovi Bad Medicine. Oh, dang it. Mm. (laughs) Eric, we're to you. Yeah, you just stole mine. Sorry. Um, Stuck in the hospital. Oh, <laughs> she thought of a better one. I, I not a, not a better one, but I thought of another one that's that's still out there that's really good. Oh man, I have to go with "Wake Up Dad" by Megadeth. That's the song I was trying to think of. Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> Dead Megadeth. Okay. It's to you, Kevin. Like a Surgeon by Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, nice. 
That's perfect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, Stacy, you got the first vote. Oh, uh, I we're now hands down. <laughs> hmm. 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 I'm giving Stacy a vote. I thought that was a great pull right off the cuff. Go with the Ramones. Eric? I have to go with bad medicine. Okay. Are you going to uh, pick Megadeth, Kevin, and uh, yeah, I was gonna. totally <laughs> screw up our game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I actually feel bad about it. I was like, should I change my answer? And then I thought, no, let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Well, we can do a new situation or try to come up with another song. And then we can vote on both of the songs chosen. How about that? Okay. Yeah. That's, you guys want to do that? That works for me. Yeah. Sure. Okay, let's circle back around then. Uh, Stacy. what was the song that you thought of again there? Dr. Feelgood. Oh. Okay. He just won it right there. Um... Uh, let's go, uh, Robert Palmer, Doctor Doctor. Eric, uh, I'm going to go with Thompson Twins, Doctor Doctor. <laughs> I almost said that, <laughs> or, or you could go with Thompson Twins. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Kevin, Witch Doctor by Elvin and the Chipmunks. Yes. <laughs> Did you say Witch Doctor? <laughs> yes, I, did. I love it. That's awesome. Okay, so just recapping, uh, <laughs> you see, I want to be sedated and Dr. Feelgood, I was bad medicine, Dr. Doctor, Eric was wake up the dead, or wake up dead, Dr. Doctor, and Kevin was like a surgeon, and which doctor? So, Stacy, where are you going? Uh, I'm going with Kevin. Kevin pulled an Alvin and the Chipmunks, wow. <laughs> Yeah, um, oh, I, I'm still going with Stacy. I like those two picks. Doctor Feelgood is a just a friggin' awesome song. Okay, uh, Eric, uh, I gotta go with Stacy. Okay, looks like she's gonna take it. Kevin, yep, who would you I'm, vote for? I'm switching my vote to Stacy with that second pick. Okay, so now we've got uh. Eric with two, Kevin with two, Stacy with two, I'm with one. And it's to me, my situation. Song I'd like to play when I'm moving across country for a fresh start. Moving across country for a fresh start. Uh, I got it. Tom Petty, Into the Great Wide Open. Okay, uh... Eric. You got one? Nope. Um, Song I'd play while moving across country for a fresh start. Hmm. I have to say The Moment of Truth by Survivor. Ooh. Ooh. I like that one. Which soundtrack was that? Was that Karate Kid? Karate Kid. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I was going to say my gym playlist, but yeah, it was. It was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Survivor. You just have to say uh, which which soundtrack was that? Because yeah. well, you pretty really, really just have to say which Karate Kid movie is that from? Well, true. Yeah, you talk about Survivor. <laughs> All right, Kevin or Rocky. Uh, I was trying to be more diverse tonight and not pick songs by same artist, much less same album but i'm going stone temple pilots interstate love song oh my Ooh. god why did i think mm. of that nice wow it's like one of my favorite songs ever have you ever heard hootie the blowfish their version of that song i've seen I them know they perform had it live yeah i it's... saw them perform it live oh my gosh it was great yeah darius rucker can sing the mess out of that song mm -hmm. stacy what you got I'm going to go with Simon and Garfunkel, America. Gotcha. All right. Well, Kevin has my vote. Yeah, mine too. 
Uh, I'm going Survivor because now I just want to watch that movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was I was also going to go Survivor. Oh, Ooh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Back around. Okay. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Moving across country for a fresh start. Um, we doing second picks again? Do you want to do? Second yeah, picks? yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do second picks again. Um, crap. Um, uh, I picked Tom Petty. I might as well pick Traveling Wilburys down the road. Is it down the road? Is that the one I'm thinking of? I might have screwed up the title. I think you did, because I can't find one. And I think it was end of the line. This is the one I'm thinking of. Oh yeah, right there, end of the line. Yeah. Yep. End is of the your, line. Yeah, the okay. that was I. I couldn't think of one, so that's that's it. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were gonna have to sing some of this. See if you if could you beat Shazam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Eric, what you got? Another Highway one. Star by Deep Purple. Ooh, what a pull. But the better version of that song is Highway Star by Striper. Don't know. I don't know either of those, I don't think. Really? Highway the Star. versions or? The, well, the song. The song itself. Okay, you, okay. You, okay. I got scared for a second. <laughs> no, not the, <laughs> the freaking bands. I mean the... <laughs> <laughs> Either of the versions. Of <laughs> what? New Striper? You probably heard Highway Star on a Guitar Hero commercial several years back. Okay. Yeah. I have played some uh, Guitar Hero in my day. Yeah, it was on. It was like one of their when like the newest. I don't remember what version it was, but it, it was it was the song in their commercial. Okay. So you, you if you heard it, you probably would recognize it. All right, uh, Kevin. I'm going to go with Queensryche Jet City Woman. Yeah. Oh, shut up, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> what was the pick? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was more right. like a song. Queensryche Jet City Woman. Jet City Woman. Yep, that's it right there. Okay, I don't I don't recognize it right from those ten seconds, so really? I'm gonna circle back to that later. Okay, uh, Stacy, sorry, uh, Let's keep this moving. <laughs> if, we're, if we're making fresh starts, I'm gonna go with Cake's version of "I Will Survive." <laughs> nice, Cake. I hadn't thought about Cake in forever. Uh, okay. I think about Cake every day, but different. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> The uh, band um, and the actual cake. I prefer pie, but that's another story. Okay, so I picked Tom Petty into the Great Wide Open and Traveling Wilburys into the line. We've got Eric with Survivor. I can't read my own writing here. Deep Moment Purple. Yep. Moment of Truth and Deep Purple Highway Star. We've got Kevin with Interstate Love Song and Queen Drake Jet City Woman. And then we've got Stacy with America, Simon Garfunkel, and Cake. I will survive. So I am going, I'm still sticking with Kevin on this one. Yeah, Kevin. Eric. I pick Kevin. No, I know. I was saying I pick you. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Stacy? He's talking. Uh, I will go with Eric. Okay, so we're tied again. <laughs> <laughs> you can All hear right. the pause in her voice where she's like, do I yeah, really want to do this? She ready to, yeah. All right, well, we are, we're going to move on to another one then. So, okay. what, if we, could, we could let the audience decide. We could let the listeners decide on, on that one. Could, somehow, couldn't we? Um, <laughs> yeah, but they're not exactly live with us. So True, true. We'll have to figure that. What maybe what we'll do is uh, put a poll up or something after the fact, and we'll get a true winner on that round. 
So, okay, so we won't go with any points that round. We're still Eric, Kevin, Stacy with two, and me with one. So let's, uh, whoever gets the three first was going to be the winner. And we're back to Eric. Eric, your situation is a song I'd play outside my crush's window. Hmm. A song I would play outside my crush's window. Um, I mean, I mean, the obvious choice was is going to be "In Your Eyes" by Peter Gabriel. So you're going with the obvious choice? <laughs> well, that's from that's from "Say Anything." That's right, I'm right, right. Explain. Yeah, I'm just I'm saying. Are you you're picking that? Okay. Yeah, I'm going with that. Okay, it's one of my favorite movies. So yeah. Yeah, that's immediately what came to my mind. So, Kevin, you got something? I do. I'm going to go with Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. Okay. What you got, Stacy? I'm going with Belinda Carlisle, I Get Weak. Yes, that's an awesome song. We just played that at our wedding a week before last. Nice. Oh. That song is very close to four minutes long because I used to work for a radio station and at the top of the hour, if they didn't play commercials, they needed a song that was like exactly four minutes. And I heard that all the time right before the top of the hour. So it's ingrained in my memory that way. Okay. um, How about... uh, um, White Snake Is This Love? Outside my crush's window. Okay, Eric, who are you voting for? I have to go with Belinda Carlisle. Okay. Kevin? White Snake. Stacy? White Snake. (laughs) Oh, look at that. Uh, For the first one that came to mind was In Your Eyes. I thought that was the perfect pick, so I was leaning towards Eric on that one. And I just want to give myself a point, so we have a four-way tie for two. <laughs> so we are all. So I'm, I'm just game. being honest. I'm just. Being honest. <laughs> it's a good thing we we decided to only go to three points. Great. All right, this is going to be the deciding one. Then this is it right here, folks. All the marbles. And it's coming to you, Kevin. Oh, this is a great one. A song that makes me feel young again. Oh. Song that makes me feel young again. Um, Stan Bush, you got the touch. Oh my gosh, you suck. (laughs) That was like the first one that came to mind, I swear. Crap. Wow. Stacy, you got one? Um, I. It makes me feel young again. I would go with uh, Rainbow Connection, Kermit the Frog. Oh, Rainbow <laughs> Connection. Man. I don't know who I'm going to vote for. Um, uh, I guess I'm got to make this more personal. Um, I remember just spinning all kinds of 45 records in our house that my mom... I guess maybe why I had so many singles because my mom only bought 45s. <laughs> but um, I remember on my seventh or eighth birthday party, we played musical chairs and I got to do, I got to like lift the needle on Ghostbusters while they played <laughs> musical chairs. So Ghostbusters makes me feel like an eight year old Ray Parker Jr. Yeah. I was totally trying to get you to, uh, Go for the emotional side there. Go ahead, Eric. <laughs> Night Ranger, Rocket America. Okay. Who is going to be the champion? Kevin, who are you voting for? Rainbow Connection. Stacy? I'm voting for You've Got the Touch. And me as well. Eric? <laughs> Rainbow Connection. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Okay. This, on, we need a fifth who, freaking person. We got to get Adam on the line here quickly. Hey, okay. Who sings um, you got the touch. 
Stan Bush. Stan Bush. Because that song is not on Spotify. It could just be Stan Bush, the touch. Oh, there it is. Okay, there you got it. Whew. I was going to say, Spotify. I'm, I'm Spotify switching to iHeartRadio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to come back around on a song that makes us feel young again. Whew. Starting with you, Kev. Here we lose in the news, this is it. Any particular reason why? Um, so I'm just as, uh, that's just kind of random to me. So when I was younger, on um, I can't remember if it was a record or cassette that my mom had and put mm-hmm. on. Honestly, it could have even been an eight track. But my brother and I were f- convinced that the song lyric was Two Bears in Love." So we would take <laughs> we would take our stuffed animals. <laughs> and act like they were in a little music video, like walk along the beach and holding hands and stuff like that. Or, or bears. Two bears in love. I want to hear that song. <laughs> I want to hear the song Two Bears in Love. I'm going to write that song. <laughs> I mean, there's certain clubs that probably cater to Two Bears in Love. <laughs> no. All right, Stacy, you got one? Yeah, uh, I'm going to go with Michael Jackson Thriller because a kid brought that album for show and tell when I was in kindergarten and played it. And he and I bonded instantly because we loved it. And like all the other kids were terrified of Vincent Price's voice at the end of it. <laughs> um, so that that was kind of the moment that I was like, yeah, I am not your average kid <laughs> in terms of liking <laughs> monsters and stuff so uh, so yeah that that always that song always takes me back to uh to kindergarten nice um i'm going back to that black wooden stereo in my living room when i was a kid uh it's got to be uh i'm going with huey lewis power of love just worn the crap out of that uh, what you got, Eric? What makes you feel young again? Um, probably the first 45 record I ever bought was Electric Avenue by, um, what's his name? Eddie. Eddie Grant. Yes, Eddie Grant. Eddie Grant. Yeah. Thank you, Stacy. I was like blanking too. Which I know that song is not on Spotify. That's a crying shame. It is a crying shame because <laughs> it messes up my 80s playlist. All right. Let's see if we can break this tie and get out of here. Uh, we've got uh, Kevin with Stan Bush, The Touch, Huey Lewis, This Is It, Stacy, Rainbow Connection, and Thriller, me with Ghostbusters and Power of Love, Eric with uh, Rockin' in America, and Electric Avenue. Who you got, Kevin? Stacy. Um, I'm I'm gonna have to go for Stacy as well. Yeah, Stacy. Looks like we got our winner. I was gonna vote for Kevin, but oh, I (laughs) I totally skipped you. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) I was too busy marking down your your winning point. So, congratulations, Stacy has won the. First situation jukebox on the retro network. And uh, your prize is uh, Eric is going to make a big Spotify list for you to listen to on the way to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. This was fun, guys. This was really fun. Yeah, was a lot so we should do it again soon, uh, maybe later tonight. <laughs> 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 anyway, but for. Uh, for these guys, thank you so much for coming on tonight. And uh, please look for us over there on theretronetwork.com. Eric's got some music articles coming up. He's already, I think, put up his playlist from this week on his high school soundtrack. Uh, Kevin, what do we got for you, Kevin? You've got the uh, the Garbage Pell Kids app review, right? Yep, and my playlist went up today as well. And your playlist went up today. Stacy, the uh that was a fun Batman eighty nine article you've put together there. 
And of course, I'm uh, part of the Retro Network podcast with Mickey. So, and I do some writing as well. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Please subscribe, tell a friend, and tell us what you think of this show. If we should do more, which we're going to do more anyway, if whether you tell us to or not. But just give us some <laughs> feedback, please, and uh, we'll try to put some other games into trn game night but for these guys i am jason thanks so much for listening and we will catch you later